Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 6, Episode 9. This is always my favorite episode in the series because we get to see all of the finalists from the previous episodes, but only three will go on to the semifinals. Let's get started. And if you would, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be most helpful. YouTube loves a thumbs up. So here are our finalists so we can remember them from their different episodes. Here they are with their self-portraits that they submitted in order to get on the program. So all of the painters at this point are really very fine painters. I think that's why I like the episode the best. It's uh, no, pretty much no wild cards. Now here is the portrait that the artist did of himself and then the piece that won him his particular episode. So remember, one was done in four, four hours, which is the one on the right, and the one on the left, he had unlimited time to do. So we can see a little bit of the length and breadth of what each artist can do. And here's one more look at his winning episode piece. Really nice. I, I do remember this one. There were several that were, were very good in this episode. So, now on to the next finalist. I think there are eight of them, but let's let's see. So here's this this one. That's a fine self-portrait. Lovely. And I was surprised because his final his uh there's his final piece. Just different colors, but nicely done. But clearly he you get more of a rushed feeling from the one on the right than you do with the one on the left. But it, it's very nicely done. So he can handle the task as well. So we have good, two very strong candidates so far. Our next candidate had a very unusual self-portrait, which was done in charcoal. So there she is. And she won her episode with a very fine painting, as it turned out. I was very surprised to see it. But she can clearly do portrait work. Here she is with the painting that she won her episode with. Really nice. I don't believe this was the one that the um, that the model chose to take home. I don't remember which one that was. That's a lot to keep track of, but it's it's really nicely done. And here we can take one more look at it a little bit more close up. It very much resembled the the model, so it, it's a strong piece. Now the next one up is a little bit more of a wild card, and I wasn't. I have to admit. I wasn't so crazy about him being chosen, but remember, they like things that are different and, and don't want everything to be the same. So here's our next artist with his self-portrait. And, you know, this is the style of what he does. And here is what he won his episode with. So it's a fine piece. It's just a very different kind of interpretation of portrait work. The next one up is who I call Enigma Guy. <laughs> I call him that because... He always was showing two canvases, and in the in this particular episode, he also painted two canvases. In this episode, I don't believe he does. But what I really liked about this is that it looks like the figure is emerging from the canvas as opposed to being um, painted on top of the canvas. And I found that kind of interesting. There's something very moody about it. And he is also... Oh, no, he's, he's new to the program, so we haven't seen him before. The next one up is someone who is returning. He was on last season and, and did fairly well. I, I can't help it. I love a Tyrannosaurus Rex in a painting. It just kind of cracks me up. Um, he, his color palette is pretty subdued. but And I do remember this piece. It did not look like the model, but it's fine painting. So on to the next one. She has also been on the program before. I remember her self-portrait, but the past she did not put a bird on her head, but this time she put a bird on her head and good for her. I really enjoy how she lets that red come through on the canvas. Just beautiful job. I do remember this portrait. It's, it was just, she just really nailed it and no one else in her particular uh, category did. They all struggled with this particular model for whatever reason. But I like the freshness of color and the design. I like the ca the, ca um, the model just slightly off to the right and all that space around. This is the next one. Lovely self-portrait. 
And I have compared her before to David Hockney, and I'll put an insert in here so you can see what I'm talking about. Just sort of a minimalist style, but a, and there's David Hockney standing, sitting in front of some of his portraits. Very, very similar. So she's, she's just influenced by him, and we're all influenced by different artists. So those are all of our candidates for the program. Now, the next up is for us to see Elaine Page. She is the model for the day. Elaine Page is a singer and an actress. And I'm not familiar with her, but she certainly has stage presence. She, you could tell from the minute she walked in <laughs> that uh, she was very comfortable with eyes on her. So there it is. And, and on the background, they just had these kind of weird light bulbs hanging around her. I, I don't remember. Well, well, we'll see in a second whether or not the artist dealt with that or not. Sometimes they deal with the background. Sometimes they don't. So it's an even playing field. Everybody has four hours to do their paintings. And after four hours, they turn their easels around. And she gets to look at all the different paintings that were done, and she picks one to go home. So here are the, ar the artists turning their easels around. Now, she's going to pick one, but that does nothing to do with the final judging. And remember, this is, this is right before the semifinals. Only one of these people will go forward into the finals. So here's the first one that we get to have a look at. Um, you know, it's a fine piece. It, uh, I love gestural work when it comes to, you know, you can see how they apply the paint and it's, it's done with energy and, uh, but I don't know, I guess we have to wait and see what the others come up with. This was, this was, I thought, yeah, that's really good. Now on to the next. Oh, when we get up closer, that's, that's more exciting, isn't it? Yeah, you can get to see some of the work that was done and some of the decisions that were made along the way. Really nice planes of the face and work with, oh, that's better. That's what was missing. We were missing the context of the whole painting. It really helps when you pull back. Yeah, that's a strong piece. And remember, he did, four, in four hours, that is a lot of real estate to cover. So now we'll go on to the next one. Oh, this is, I remember, this is Enigma guy who usually does two pictures next to each other, one more unfinished. And so I was surprised to see him do this one. Um, it's certainly in his style, and he did include those kind of light bulbs going around. Um, it's underwhelming for me because it's sort of as if it's behind a scrim of some kind. It's like I, I'm, I want to focus and see a little bit more. But that's his style, and he's been consistent about it, and so good for him. Let's see if we have a close-up of that. I don't think we do. I don't think they spent much time on this. Oh, we do. All right. Well almost starts to dissolve in a way. <laughs> not, certainly not much color or definition going on there. I always talk about lost and found edges, which I love, but we have a, so many lost edges here that I'm not sure it really creates the form. Yeah, that's, that, that's a painting I would, I would title ambiguous, which is his style, so they may go for that. I don't know. I... And the format is interesting, to do that uh, rectangular format. I can't help thinking that he really wanted to do his usual two thing, but didn't. But uh, now we'll go on to the next one. Oh, that's a strong piece. Very much looks like her. Um, nice use of color. This is very, very direct. You know, this is, uh, this is just a strong painting. You know, I like it. I mean... So far, this, to me, this might be the strongest piece. When we come in closer, equally as strong, interesting. Hmm, I don't know. I, I get, you know, I don't know what the judges are looking for necessarily, but um, it's, a, it's a fine portrait. So once again, we have some really good candidates going forward. But, uh, but I don't know who's gonna, who the three are that are going to win yet. When we pull back, oh, it's even stronger, isn't it? Oh, it's the guy. It's Tyrannosaurus guy, <laughs> Rex guy. He's, he's been on the program before, and he's worn that shirt every time. I'm sure he has many shirts like that. But um, So I recognize him more from the shirt than anything else. All right, nicely done. He was smart to pick that smaller size, though. He was able to resolve things and get things done. That, that was just a smart decision, maybe because he's a returning competitor. This is the person that I referred to as being similar to David Hockney. I find this a really exciting piece. 
it is um, very, very minimal. But also, I, I kind of enjoy the play of the, the um, dull and bright. I mean, that background is so super, super bright. And then, you know, the black, which clearly is not black. There's a lot of mixing going on in there. But I, I, I think that was just creates a lot of energy to have that the starkness. It almost has sort of, it, it's impactful. That's what I'll say about it. And I would say it resembles her, which I think is important in, in this competition because the final prize is, oh, even from far away. Oh, I like it even better now. Oh boy, uh, I really admire her type of painting because you have to have a lot of restraint to do that. Boy, is it hard to have restraint. It means that you've got to stop before you think you have to stop. <laughs> Walk away from the painting. Oh, okay. This is nicely, really nicely done as well. And I think from the hardest vantage point, I mean, doing a, a portrait directly uh, face on like this, you know, what I call a mug shot, is super, super hard to do. So much easier if you can get a three-quarter view of somebody because you get some angles and some planes on the face. So, and I, I'm sure you don't get to decide where you're going to be set up, but this is nicely done. Um, you know, is it strong in terms of, you know, exciting color? I wouldn't call this person a colorist, but certainly knows how to apply the values of paint in the correct places and is a very good drafts person. Oh, even close up? Yeah. You know, it's got a heavy use of black, which is just not my preference, but that's that's neither here nor there. She was the person who had a uh, her self-portrait -port as, as a charcoal. Yeah, nicely done. But again, you know, may suffer from choosing that large format in four hours. But they're going to judge her on what she did, not on what she didn't do. So let's see, I can't keep track of how many, oh, here's the next one. Well, oh, this is the fellow who had more of a cartoon kind of looking style. So I'm not surprised that he wasn't able to really nail a likeness to her. It, it, it's just not, it's just not kind of what he does. So that is, um, oh, it's a little bit unfortunate because I think he, I, 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 I like his style, but, but not for this task just not for this task. And there's a close-up of it. It almost looks like a watercolor, but it, it definitely is not. So on to the next one. Let's see. Oh, interesting. Wow, look at the fire. Boy, talk about you take your warm side of the color wheel and contrast it with your cool side of the color wheel. That is definitely what's happening here to make for impact. Nicely done. Um, Really nicely done. I, I think what we have to do, let's see if I if I got a slide of, of the pull back so we can get a better idea of the composition and design. No, we're going in. All right. Um, yeah, not a lot to say. Not, um, I'm not sure what to say about this one. There's not a lot of definition in the face. And yeah, I guess there's, there's so much blending that the definition happened, but, but it's not defi defined, but Wait a minute, when you pull back, that looks, something's gone awry. That is not the same painting. No, this is a different painting. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so this is our last participant, I believe. Oh, uh, nice job, nicely done. I'm sorry, it took me unaware. For a minute there, I thought it was the third. Oh, here we go. Oh, I loved his self-portrait so much. Uh, he didn't get to finish either, but uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what the judges are going to do because they're all they're all fine. So um, it's just going to be completely up to them. Now, which one does Ellen Page pick? She picks this one to take home. So good for her. Nicely done. And now on to our real judging. So at this point, all the artists are lined up and... You know, they've had to go through the whole process, which is quite an extensive process from when you apply to the program to, you know, if you manage to get to this point. There are all the paintings lined up that, uh, that, that they did today. So those are the ones they have to choose between. Um, I know I could pick three, but I would want to pick probably more than three. So that's a tough job. Let's see who the winners are. These winners are going to go on to the semifinals where they'll all paint one model together and then they will also do three separate commissions and they will be judged on that. 
All right, this one. Good. She can do the job. That'll be nice to see her color palette again. I'd like to see more of her. So, oh, so I forgot for a second. That was a self-portrait just so we can be reminded. And then the painting that she did to win her episode. And now let's look at the one she did today that's going to put her for through to the semifinals. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that. I would not have thought this was hers. Um, interesting, very interesting. Okay, let's just, uh, I'm, I'm going to say she was pretty nervous today. Uh, here is the self-portrait to enter the program on the left, the picture that he did for his particular episode, and now we'll look at the one that they chose so that he could be in the semifinals today. And um, I remember it was a, a little gem of a painting. Yeah, it's a little gem. It doesn't show as well in that slide, but it did when we saw it earlier. Remember, it was a smaller size than anybody else's, but completely resolved all the way around. Oh, the David Hockney artist. All right. I should call her. Well, yeah, it's fair to call her that. Obviously, she's, uh, we're all derivative to some extent. So there's her self-portrait on the left and the portrait that won her her episode on the right. And now we get to see the one that she won with today. See, I think that's an exciting piece. But it might be too contemporary uh, a piece for them to, for her to be considered. But we don't know. That's the fun part of the program. We do not know. So there are our three semifinalists. And we will look for them in episode 10 as they paint and compete against each other. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value and mix for color, and I will see you at the semifinals, which is super exciting. All right, bye-bye.